Hi guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient update. So let's go ahead and get started. First on our current patients list is Great Horned Owl 78. And this bird was admitted from Jackson and was presumably hit by a car. The reason that we think this is true is because the bird suffered a coracoid fracture, which is a bone kind of close to the shoulder region. One great thing about coracoid fractures is that they heal really well after cage rest. So we plan to keep this bird in the ICU until he starts to feel better. Here's a short video of us offering him food for the very first time in captivity. And sometimes when birds first come in, they're not really inclined to eat. And so for the first few days, it is necessary to get some food in them. So here's a short video of us trying to encourage this bird to eat. And you can kind of tell he's not super interested in the food, but we imagine that in the next week, this bird will begin eating on his own. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 629, and this young bird came into TRC with a broken jaw, so that's why he's got this tape around his beak. However, the great news is that his jaw has healed and the tape has been removed. He also recently had his feeding tube removed, so he's now getting fed small bites of food. However, his eye injury still remains and we hope that it will clear up soon. Here's a short video of this young bird getting to eat for the very first time on his own. So this is just after his feeding tube has been removed and after his beak tape has also been removed. Here we have Swainson's Hawk 625, and this bird has recently moved out of the ICU and into a small enclosure where he can move around a little bit more. The bird is still healing from his pubic fracture and his uh, humerus fracture. However, both are looking really nice. And we hope that this bird will be able to move into a larger enclosure in the coming weeks. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 525. And this bird is unfortunately non-releasable due to the trauma that he's sustained in his left eye. However, his right eye is perfectly functioning as you can see in this photo, and staff have been working with him on glove because we feel that he meets the criteria to be an education bird. So there have been a couple inquiries about him and stay tuned for any updates on that. Last but not least, we have female Golden Eagle 42. And although this bird hasn't progressed in the last month or so, she also hasn't shown any signs of regression either. So this bird may end up not being releasable. However, we are planning to stay the course and see if anything changes in the next couple weeks. All right, that's it for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in and I look forward to talking with you all next week. Bye.